Trump. Credit where credit is due. He took some time at the UN General Assembly meeting this week to address the Africa delegation. The first piece of sound, we'll, we'll get to, you know, he had a funny, he made up a fake country, which isn't particularly surprising because his brain is like fried cookie dough. Uh, but uh, this initial clip where he talks about why his friends are going to Africa, I just wanted to highlight. Africa has tremendous business potential. I have so many friends going to your countries trying to get rich. I congratulate you. They're spending a lot of money. But it does. It has a tremendous business potential and representing huge amounts of uh, different markets. And for American firms, it's really become a place that they have to go, that they want to go. Have to go, that they want to go. Those are the best kind of places. Yes. The, way, the things that you have to do that you want to do are like totally the best things in a certain sense. I, I really, though, I, what I like about that clip, two things, one slightly tangential and one substantive, which I'll start with. When Trump clearly has no even beginning of a clue of what he's talking about. So right there, he's in like pure kind of genial kid who didn't do the work thing, you know, practically like maybe he does have enough exposure to like weird corrupt businessmen trying to like steal minerals or diamonds in Africa or something that he recognizes that it's a continent not a country but like i wouldn't be surprised if uh donald trump was in africa as a country guy and um and then when he does that in his unique verbiage he basically just echoes most of there's some programs pepfar for aids funding and things like that but the, basically the attitude of Clinton through Bush and through Obama was let's make Africa a next hotbed for foreign direct investment and compete with China for contracts there. Um, so there's been massive growth in Africa, but also all the other things you'd expect, environmental devastation, austerity. That's why there's also you know, a lesser covered but a kind of African awakenings movement, um, which protested things like a value added tax on corn in Kenya. And Kenya is like one of those you know, places that's held up as this great example. So it's funny when, in his own stupid way, he basically just says what the consensus is. Uh, and then I'm also wondering if the same head of state that Nikki Haley talked to that was so impressed by Rocket Man was standing there being like, where is the nickname for us? You come all the way here to tell us, well, I didn't know that you are investing. But until you say Africa is a great place or the investment continent... Uh, actually, see, that's the problem. That could actually work. I call it the investment continent. I call it the Mr. Investment Continent. Um, well, uh, nicknames. Um, he did come up with a certain nickname of sorts in the uh, next part of the speech, and this is what everybody's talking about, uh, a, apparently uh, Trump declaring a new country. In Guinea and Nigeria, you fought a horrifying Ebola outbreak. <laughs> Nambia's health system is increasingly <laughs> self-sufficient. <laughs> I mean, if Nambia is in your mind, it can be self-sufficient. Nambia's got one of the best. We should really look to Nambia. We, Nambia is a place that more and more people should look to. I would like that if there was like a imaginary African country that was the safe space in Trump's mind. Nambia is a friendly African country ruled by King Jaffe Jofa. The girls are black, but they're still tens, and they want to do deals with me. It's my safe space. Do we know which country he was talking about? Was it Namibia? Probably, probably Namibia. Or, or Gambia. Or Gambia. Or either Z of Zamb I bet he knows Gambia because the president of Gambia a couple years ago, or uh, no, like several months ago, he uh, literally flew off in a plane with like all of the tra He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll resign. No problem. And then basically literally <laughs> personally stole almost like the entire state budget and flew out of the country. And uh, I think Trump looks at that sometimes and he's just like, hashtag life goals. The novelist Sinclair Lewis had a fictional state sort of in the upper Midwest called uh, it was Winnemac. Winnemac? Maybe that's what Trump is doing. He's like, I, <sighs> I'm just going to combine those. Just combining it. Is it Namibia? 
I'm a big Sinclair Gambia, Lewis Zambia, fan. Just, yeah, I'm going to Sinclair Lewis this. Every joke about me that begins with the premise that I read a book is on very shaky ground. <laughs> Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.